This may be my most ambitious sun catcher project yet. Hi, this is Tweak. We're going to make another sun catcher today, and this time it will have a swarm of jellyfish on it. Join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are, you'll need a variety of beads of different sizes from two millimeter all the way up to 16 or higher, depending on how big you want your jellyfish to be. You'll need some beading wire, some crimping beads, and tools to make the jellyfish. That's it, so let's go. I'm making jellyfish, and I had to make quite a few of them. In a previous episode of Tweaks with Tweak, I had made some big jellyfish big long tendrilled jellyfish and I wanted to make a sun catcher but I wanted more. I wanted baby jellies on there too. So I made little guys here and I took the half cluster ball that we have made before in other episodes and then I just attached wire to create the tentacles. See this has got 20 legs, this has 10. Jellyfish have a lot of legs. It depends on the species. So here's what I did. I took a half cluster. And if you don't know how to make a half cluster ball, um, we have links below in the video to show you that. I take a half cluster. This is a smaller size because I wanted a smaller jelly. And I just take some wire. And at every other space on these beads, I push the wire through and I simply tie it off. So this has given me 10 tentacles on this jelly. Let's give two very, very simple little knots. The wires may drive you a little batty. And so what you have is a cluster that has all these little wires hanging out of it. So what I'm gonna do then is start beading these up to form the tentacles. So I would choose my smallest beads. They really could be whatever size you want to use, but I wanted tentacles that looked a little more ethereal, a little more like what you'd see floating. And I cannot wait to see these with some sunshine coming through them because I have not seen that yet. And basically, depending on how long you want your tentacles to be, because that's up to you, once I start stringing on the beads and I decide how long I want this tentacle to be, then what I'll do is I'll string it up and then I'll add a little ending to it of a decorative bead. And what I'll end up being then, as you'll see, let's pull one here. So I'll string it up and then I'll add a decorative bead. And it can be actually whatever you want to be there hanging there. I try to keep them about the same length and you just go around the cluster, half cluster, and you just make your little tentacles. Okay, and once you have that done, we'd go ahead and put a middle in the jellyfish. So you have your half cluster with the little 10 tentacles. On this one, there's 10. And we want to make the center. And for the center piece, which is also going to have the wire that hangs the jellyfish, I would take some of my wire, my bead along wire, and I don't need a lot of it, maybe, maybe a little over a foot. And I'm going to take a bead. I would just pick a bead. Like I would like something small. I'm just making something a little decorative to hang in the center of the jellyfish. I'm not putting tentacles on the big jellyfish. I put tentacles on the inside of the jelly as well as on the outside edge. But this one, I'm just going to go put a simple bead, buddy up the two ends of the wire. And now I'm going to put just a couple more beads. Just going to grab a few different shapes. They don't have to be, oh, tentacles got in here. Now, come on, jelly. Oh, that was interesting. We've got an oval bead, small bead, oval bead, little bead, and now I want a bigger bead. Now this one I would like, here they are, this one I'd like to fit inside the half cluster. I want that bead to sit nicely. I don't want the bead to be hanging out. 
I could, let's see, we're using another cluster to put inside a cluster. I don't want it hanging out of the body. I want that bead to fit nicely in. So whatever bead you use to make the half cluster, you want to use a center bead that's going to fit snugly in there. So I've got little bead, oval bead, another bead, and now this is the one that's going to set inside. See how simple? Look at three beads. That's going to be the center of the jellyfish. And then we're going to pull through. Just push this up through. And that's how it's going to hang through. Now all these tentacles would have been beaded already. See? And once I pull it through, you see there? Now I'm going to add another bead to hold this wire in place. I'm just going to pick a smaller bead. I want something that fits nicely but doesn't go all the way through. So you can see that's what you've got now. It's kind of easier to see with all the tentacles not done yet. And then what I do is very simply add a crimp bead to hold that all in place. This is such an easy project. Yes, I did make a bunch, bunch, a bunch of jellies for this project. But to actually make them, and they could be really cute all on their own, hanging in a window. Now I'm just going to come up the wire and I'm just going to add another crimp bead. Make sure the wire is even and give that a crimp. And I might want to pull off some of that tip there. It's just nice and even. And you're ready to hang it. Now this one is not done, but any of the ones that I did, simple, simple, simple. You can get a little more fancy. This one here has 20 tentacles. A little more work, but I wanted a variety. They have a little bit different tips on the end of their tentacles. I just used the beads that I had kicking around so you would see some of them are just teardrop beads. Some of them are chandelier beads. Some of them are bigger, some are smaller, but you get the effect. So now that I have all my little jellies made, how am I going to attach them to the sun catcher? Let's show you how. We began by drawing out our own design, grabbing up some scrap wood, some floral craft rings, and some wood glue. We'll need some pin nails, some hooks, and some paint later, so let's go.
And here it is. Oh, this is going to be fun. Time to load it with the swarm of jellyfish. Now I did have some that were bigger than the others. And I'd like to hang the bigger ones in the center. So what we're going to do now is hang the jellyfish to the length we want. They're all on various wires. So as I go, I'm going to cut the wire crimp and set these to the length I need. The big guys come first. So I'll take our four inside. They, oh good, they're hanging at different lengths. That's good. It's easier for me to deal with the little ones. Oh, look at it, oh my goodness. And this thing is very strong. Let's try to get it, keep it even. There we go. It's got to hold quite a lot of weight. Oh, I can't wait to see this in the sunshine. And here's a green one. So I'm going to come over this side. Oh, guys, this is pretty. And then I had, what's this one here? Now this one has a little bit of length on it with the wire. Okay, I'm liking that. They're hanging at little bit odd levels. I like the symmetry of it. His tendrils, tentacles really hang down low. Now I've made a lot of jellyfish, a lot of little baby ones. So let's see how I'd like to do this. I'm just going to start hanging them. Let's see. Nothing fussy, just some wire. I want the illusion. I was going to bead them all. I thought I just want them to look like they're floating. Didn't want to see the beads going up to the top, so I just used the wire. Okay, I'm liking this, so then I will I'll work on the edges and I'll come through and fill in the gaps. So I'd have to cut less of the little jellies. Here we go. Let's see how you sit. You're coming down here, a little lower. This is working out really well. I want this one to be a little higher than that one. So I'm going to give it a snip. Okay, I'm just going to take the wire. So I want about that much. Keep my thumb there. Grab a crimp bead. I, will, I just move my thumb. I'll measure again. This is going to be beautiful. I can't wait to see it. Okay, I think I like that. Pull it back just a little bit. And crimp. Pull off some of the excess. Make sure that's going to stay. Yep. Look at, see? I want them hanging at different angles like they're floating. Oh boy, I'm liking this. Okay, we've got a few more to do. Let's do this one here. Come on, guys. I got more jellies here. Okay, this one. Let's see how he sits. Um, I, I want him higher. So let's go ahead and cut him, too. The longest part of this project was making the jellies. <laughs> Make sure that's going to stay. I like the simplicity of this project. There's really not that many hooks except on... The beautiful base that's holding them all together. This is what I've got so far. I've got how many more hooks to go? Here's another. Let's see, I think you're way too long. Let's find out. Yeah, so that one of those has to be nipped. And then I've got one here. Well, now I've got two jellies to choose from, and I'm going to go with the smaller one. We don't need this hook on here. He's got a little bit of brown in him. Okay, so I'm either going to pull that one. I think so, because I don't like... Oh, they're hanging quite closely at the same level there. Either this one or this one has to go, so I have to decide. One of them's got to be shorter. Maybe it's you because you're not going back up. Okay, well, that's what we'll do. Higher. I want him to be up right about there. I want him a little lower than that, taller than that one. Right about 
there. Can I do that? I'm gonna get my crimp bead right down there. Do it this way, right there. Come on. I said right there. Okay, here's the crimp. It's crimped. Gonna stay. See? Okay, so did I get you at the right level, Mr. Mr. Jellyfish? Okay, nice. Yes. I want my eye to bounce around on the jellies. This one here is hanging. I don't know if he should be in the center, but I kind of like where he is. He's got really long tendrils. Uh, let's find out what happens if we move these two. Take the orange one out of the middle, put them on the edge. Take the longest one and put them in the center. Okay, I feel better about that. That let looks nicer. Just for fun, let's take it out and see how are they gonna sparkle in the sunshine. Let's do that. And there you have it. The jellies are doing their thing. <laughs> And I think they look wonderful. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. And until then, look at what we did. I'm just in awe of how beautiful they can look. Jellyfish, all the shine, none of the sting. See you again.